Welcome back friends and today uh, I will try to discuss with you uh, a little bit about the introduction to pathology. I know that the uh, subject pathology is so challengeable, especially for those who are second year students, especially for those who are studying at Mwimbi University of Health and Life Science. So our channels uh, which is named as Dr. Manstream is trying to uh, help you to simplify this uh, subject of pathology so you can uh, get a different uh, terms concerning pathology and that will make it easy for you to pass. And in an introduction of pathology we have the outline that will discuss about the uh, introduction which is uh, a composite encompassing here about the definition of <coughs> pathology, definition of the term disease, terminology used in pathology, and uh, uh, lastly we'll look at about the subdivisions that are used in pathology. Let's start with the uh, definition of the word uh, pathology. The word pathology uh, is a Greek word that originate from uh, two liquids which are the pathos and the logos. The liquid pathos means disease and the logos means start. So in short, uh, the word pathology or term pathology literally means the start of the di of disease. And uh, in general, uh, pathology is the scientific study of disease into its nature, causes, mechanisms, and the effects. Also, let us look about the uh, meaning of the term disease. The term disease that is opposite of the term health, and this is the state of discomfort to the body. This is it means there is a not is not as a, a normal. It means it's an abnormal. That's why we say that uh, disease is abnormal variation in the structure and or functions of the body. But uh, in a lot of cases, uh, the term disease uh, you find is confused with the term illness. See, so in this uh, lecture, I will try to show you what the what the difference between the disease and the illness. The term illness means it's a subjective reaction of an individual to disease. So it means disease comes first, and the reaction that comes after someone is diseased, uh, that we call illness. And the illness usually is in the form of symptoms and the physical sign. The symptoms, these are the complaints of a patient. It means that they are felt by a patient. For example, headache, nausea, dizziness. Yeah, these are felt by a patient. But when we say a physical sign, it means these are the signs that are listed by a physician. In other words, they are seen by a physician. For example, if someone is uh, infected with uh, plasmodium uh, parasparum and has encountered malaria, so what uh, are, are the physical signs like a paleness of the conjunctive membrane? These are seen by a, a physician or a doctor. Those these are what we call physical signs. And also physical signs like edema, obesity. These are the physical signs. And uh, also, as I said, we will discuss about the terminology used in pathology. Let's start with the terminology patient. Patient means the, pe the person affected by the disease. Also, lesion. Lesion means the characteristic changes in the tissues and the cells produced by a disease. So what we see, what we see, the changes in the tissues or oh, in the cell that occur the result of disease, these are called what lesions. And when you say pathological changes, it means you are concerned much about morphology. It means that there is morphological changes. And, uh, and uh, these morphological changes you see after examination of the diseased the tissues. And these pathological changes can be gross or microscopic. When you say gross, it means it can be seen with the naked eye appearance. 
but when you say microscopic it means you take a uh, the biopsy of a tissue and you make an isolage and then you you look it under a microscope that's what we say microscopic examination so it means the pathological changes can be seen in two ways close and uh, uh, microscopical another terminology is about etiology etiology means what what causes the variation uh, from normal let me say an example from let me say an example from uh, liver cyosis we know that the normal liver appearance is smooth so once uh, someone encountered a liver cyosis i will be presented with nodules uh, in the liver when you take a, a gross appearance so we are we know that the liver is smooth but once we see that the liver has nodules so we are asking ourselves what causes a variation from normal which means we deal what are the causal factors that are responsible for the lesions what are the causal factors that are responsible for the appearance of uh, nodules uh, in the liver so that's the question that we're asking about when we see uh, or, or we try to uh, uh, we try to talk about the uh, etiology and also the term pathogenesis the term pathogenesis means the mechanism by which the lesion are produced it means you are from the entry of uh, the pathogen or from the start of the process up to the with that which uh, the that will be the lesion that will be produced also another terminology is about symptoms I as I have said that symptoms these are complaints seen by a patient for example stomach ach, uh, pain in the stomach headache dizziness nausea this will say that there are complaints seen by a patient or felt by a patient only because if the patient will feel a pain in the stomach or pain in the in the head or dizziness or nausea and uh, a doctor or physician can never see this but when you say physical sign, it means they are seen by a physician or a doctor. For example, paleness of the conjunctive or membrane may be due to the uh, infection with the plasmodium falciparum. And also we have obesity and edema. So these are the physical signs. Also, there's another terminology, like we have a diagnosis. Diagnosis, we are concerned what is wrong. What is wrong with uh, such lesions? Yeah. And uh, in the prognosis, it means what is going to happen uh, after after someone has uh, dis uh, discovered that he has a lesion. So we 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 we, we, are, we prefer to know what will be the uh, final result of uh, such lesions. That's what we call prognosis. And also treatment. It means what can be done about it. We have seen a lesion, so. We are asking for what should be done in order to uh, remove or eliminate lesions. Preventions. Uh, we talk about what can uh, be done to avoid a disease, complication, and the spread. We have seen that someone uh, encountered a lesions, a lesion like, uh, let's say, to in liver cirrhosis, yeah, encountered a disease of liver cirrhosis. Uh, due to alcoholism so in the prevention we, we, we ask also what can be done uh, uh, to avoid the disease to the uh, remaining populations or what can be done in order to avoid the complication due to liver cirrhosis or what can be done in order to avoid the spread of uh, disease okay let's continue and uh, finally, I say that we we'll look uh, upon the subdivisions of pathology. The human pathology is divided into a uh, three uh, subdivision. We have general pathology, we have systemic pathology, and the clinical pathology. Let's start with the general pathology. The general pathology uh, this, uh, involves the studs without reference to a specific organ systems. The term general, it means generalized without a specific study of uh, a certain organ so this is a generalized one in which we show the uh, it's designed to show the fundamental reaction to disturbances in the body <coughs> but once you talk uh, about the systemic pathology it means that the systemic uh, is a side of the disease pertaining to a specific organs and the body system 
for example uh, when we start uh, the disease pertaining to the gastrointestinal system or liver as an organ or brain so it means it, in systemic pathology we are concerned about it, a certain a part and uh, this is, it means it's a specific one but uh, the last one the clinical uh, pathology the clinical pathology involves the combination of both the general and the systemic uh, pathology it means we, we we apply both this one and these clinical pathology so applicable ones uh, you, we, you are in your, in your rotations and it deals with the problems of patient at the bedside include the start of the laboratory tests usable for the diagnosis and the management of patient this is all about the uh, clinical pathology but we have some of the sub specialties sub specialties these where they come from due to the advancement of diagnostic tools uh, the speciality of, of pathologies come to include the following sub specialties uh, the first sub specialty the histopathology and morbid anatomy which we call it, uh, the anatomical pathology and uh, the, this anatomical pathology it is some of the subdivisions we have surgical pathology forensic pathology and autops and cytopathology surgical pathology uh, this is a pathology that do, uh, during the surgeries and uh, when you say forensic pathology and autops we deal with the dead bodies uh, and this involves the investigation of what is the cause of the death of someone. Suppose uh, someone has died suddenly or died from a known cause and fa or, or found to be uh, found to be dead. So once we want to know what is the cause of uh, the death, uh, that is called a forensic pathology and uh, autopsy. Uh, we have the other term, cytopathology. Cytopathology. Uh, as you know, the term cyto means cell. So this is a, a pathology that it deals with the study of the cell, uh, cellular structures, opposition. Yes. Uh, other subspecialties, there is uh, hematology and blood transfusions that deal with the disease of the blood. Uh, and use the diseases of the blood. We have also chemical pathology, or sometimes called clinical pathology. This deals with the metabolic disturbance of the disease. We have a uh, subspecialty of microbiology and the uh, immu uh, immunology. And the last we have a uh, subspecialty that is of parasitology and medical entomology. Thanks for visiting our channel and uh, listening for our sessions. And sorry for the short disturbance that has happened. And uh, the next day we will collect it. Welcome again to our channel. And don't forget to share with your colleagues uh, about our channel because once you share uh, this channel to your colleagues, it will help him or her to gain a lot of understanding about the pathology. And then you will pass together. Welcome again. And don't forget to subscribe.